Good morning everybody, happy Monday and welcome back to the Terry Tracker channel and welcome back to the vlog and this is our weather forecast. Marvellous and I'm just getting a fright because ah! <laughs> Emma just sneaked up to the car. Here we go, me, Tristan and Gypsy are back in Prudda to do another one of the trails and it's the trail I'm not allowed to do. So guess what we're doing? As you can see, there's been a little dusting of snow over the weekend and the mud is frozen solid. So it's quite a crisp day. I was going to say not a cloud in the sky, but I was going to do that and lie, but I'm going to tell you there is some. <laughs> Found the first one, and as the last one, the coordinates are a little bit out. Uh, if I say anything though, and tell the cash owner, she kicks off and gets all angry about it. But that's where the geocache is saying it is over there on the website. But in reality, it's over there somewhere. Just put the correct coordinates in. Nice one, Tristan. Found it! I'm not going to point the camera to where this one is, even though I just have. <laughs> um, totally in plain view, you can see it from the path. So yeah, watch this, number three. Yeah. Number three done. Found the next one. And guess what? The coordinates are way out because it was meant to be over there and it's around where I'm standing, well actually behind where I'm standing so I'm not going to film where it goes but coordinates over there so if you do come to this one go to there but look the opposite side of the track. Hint. This track looks hard, and then all of a sudden, yeah. And it's starting to snow a little bit. Awesome. Found the next one, it's a bit wet, but we found it. Well, Tristan found it. If you come on the scale, wear appropriate footwear. Because it's all like this. Hey 
in for this one. Bottom of tree. All right then. Found that one and we're off for the next one. And it looks like we've got a river crossing. But to be fair, it's worse up here than a river. Look at this. It's only a little stream. Let's go. Just had our first did not find on this trail. Looked for far too long. On to the next. Through a boggy, literally boggy farmer's field. Yeah. That's what I mean by boggy farmer's field. Can you hear that noise? Can you actually see him over there? That's a farmer spreading poo in the field and we're going to walk right next to him awesome well that smell certainly clears us clears the sinuses beautiful well done tristan for finding this one whoop whoop Onwards to the next. Beautiful views. We've just spotted fellow geocachers that are caching in front of us. And we've caught up with them. I don't think you can see on this camera, but they're there. Hi, fellow geocacherers. Well, this one was easy to find because it was hidden by a rock that was in the tree. And you got some, need some backlight. That's better. That's better. So it was hidden by a rock in the tree. Now, rocks don't live in trees, so that kind of give it away. We're actually at the start point for this trail. Uh, we've just done it in a different order. We start halfway around, but we're at the highest point now. So from now on, it's all downhill. Hopefully. Well, that one was very easy to find. My GPS wasn't even working. It had us all the way over there somewhere. But literally, I walk along a path and you can see it's in plain sight. All downhill from here now. I'm going to try and catch up with them other geocaches. Found it! Next! Look at the difference a bit of blue sky and sunshine makes. Makes all the colours brighter. Lovely green grass, lovely blue skies. Found the next one, with the help of Tristan again. Whoop whoop! Stick on your head. Hey! Well, we found this one, but somebody seemed to have just thrown it in because they obviously didn't want to walk through all the spiky stuff again. So we're going to have to try and figure out where it goes. Found the next one! Found it, a nice big container, on to the next. Well, 
that one didn't really take too much to find because it's not really hidden. Oh well, nice and easy. Hey, smile. You're on camera. Yeah, no, I am. Hey. Found the second last one, and once again the coordinates was a little bit out. It had us going over there. That's where the map says it should be, but it's not. On to the last one of this trail. Let's go. Another one of these, totally out in the open, could see it from the, the track itself. So a nice easy one to end our little trail. Now just a half a mile walk or so to the car. You're going to see it in time warp. And it's not just a step to the left. And you don't bend your knees in time. Retreat! Retreat! Wrong direction. It's this way. I've been asked to put another pin in the map for Mark Guthrie and it's going to be very difficult I'm just going to have to go in the same spot as where mine is well just slightly lower there we go Mark Guthrie in Bladen there's your pin dun, 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 dun. I forgot to fetch the plug for the ring light so it's just the fluorescence tonight but if you would like a pin in this map, let me know down below or send me an uh, email to terry at terrytracker.co.uk. Let me know your name and where you are and you'll get a pin. I'll advertise your channel below it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what this board is. So I think I'm going to go in the shower now. I'll spare you the horror show of taking you in the shower with me. Then I'm going to make some pasta and watch some more Stranger Things and try and catch up to the end of series three. I think I'm three episodes in so I think I'll get another two or three episodes tonight. That is the plan. So I'll see you all tomorrow and now it's time to do your job. Oh also if you want to send in videos of yourself seeing my outro now it's time to do your job and I'll also advertise your channel on that Send them to terry at terrytracker.co.uk and I will use them at the end of my videos. I thank you.